Hey, do you uh, do you want to show them what we've been doing? The new improvements on the van? Yeah, I want to. Okay. Let's do it. Welcome to a new episode of our van deal. In this video, we'll get some stuff done. We have a new sliding door to separate the spaces between driving mode and home mode. We created an overhead shelving space for extra storage. We installed our new Dometic refrigerator. Install our butcher block countertops, creating our U-shaped kitchen out of lift-up hinges. Here is how we did it. Right before our trip to Tampa, we got our fridge delivered. So as soon as we came back, we were ready to start working in the kitchen. Totally freaking out to get the fridge safe inside the van. refrigerator inside the van. Finally! ta -da! We got a Dometic CRX 110. We don't have it connected to the electricity yet, so you'll see us doing that in just a bit. First, we have to work in some other things, which brings me to the back splash! We just went to floor and decor and we got this hexagon mat. Since these areas are small, uh, we thought it was going to be more comfortable to work with this tile uh, since it's a smaller and we can cut it to size. And yeah, so we're gonna finish this part of the window. We are also going to do a little frame for the window. And we're gonna tile around. Cover all of these. Aidan had to go to work, so 
I think I'm gonna try and tile by myself. <laughs> We're about to grout. Looking good. Aidan really likes the hexagon and he really wants to be noticeable. So that's why we picked a color that will make that possible. Mira sus movimientos. <laughs> So our backsplash is um, officially done. <laughs> if you haven't seen our video with our future layout, I'm gonna put it somewhere here or here. You can go and check that out, our future layout. It's amazing how it's kind of starting to look like that actually. It makes me so happy. Now that that's done, we're gonna be able to bring the piece of furniture that we made a couple days ago where uh, the refrigerator is gonna go and our future sink also uh, we're probably gonna be able to start working on the rest of that wall i uh, can't wait <laughs> yeah, what's up va a conectar mi refrigerador <laughs> por fin por favor of course the electrician. You can put your crepes in there. The electrician. Can you please connect my refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna drill a hole through our bench so we can run the cable to the electrical box. fridge is meant to be drilled in the cabinet where it's hot. So we took the plugs out, screw in the fridge and cover with the plugs again. Making noise. Holy shit. Oh my god. It's making noise. Is there any food ready? I'm so hungry. Ooh. Ooh. Woo! With the lights on right now. 3.94. That's pretty good. That's just the start, baby. Okay, so we don't know where we left you, but <laughs> what? What do you mean we don't know where we left you? The last thing I've been recording. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so I don't know where we left you, but we are about to start working on our... ¿Cómo se llama? Mm, overhead storage of the overhead front. Overhead storage. The, like the drivers and passenger seat overhead storage. 
Ay, excuse me. Sí. Muéstranos, mi amor. This area up here is Sorry. This area up here already is some type of storage, as you can see. Um, every Ford Transit, and probably Sprinter, ProMaster, have something like this. Um, and we found kits where there's brackets that install to this and create a shelf. But we're thinking, since we do everything ourselves, we don't want to order some expensive brackets, that we're going to try to make a uh -huh. shelf that will sit up here and be stable up here maybe with some heavy duty velcro we'll see if that works <laughs> <laughs> maybe we think it's gonna work mm -hmm. heavy duty velcro to keep it attached here and then we're gonna have already some kind of division between what is the front cabin and our living space so if we put a three-fourth inch piece of plywood and kind of get it stabilized here, stabilized against these walls, drilled into the walls that we're creating up here. We're thinking that it will give us um, some storage space above our heads. Um, it's going to have the sturdy on, sturdiness. Yeah, it's going to be sturdy and have some storage space that, you know, a lot of people, um, you know, just seems like this space is left blank. Um, and there's a lot that we can do with it since we're already very limited on space having a van. So we are going to try to um, make a template out of this area to understand what the cuts need to be. And that's what we're going to do. Right now. Because we didn't buy the brackets to hold this piece of wood, we decided to create a support for it, coming from the walls that will separate the spaces. duty velcro there <laughs> and um, so the board that's gonna be on top of it is gonna be very strong uh, stuck to it and then the board is gonna be um, also drill into this well it's gonna be on top of this drill into it and the walls so it should be very sturdy um, we're gonna start installing that right now. Okay guys, so we have our wall 
here with our upper uh, or our overhead shelving uh, we are going to apply some wood veneer to these areas uh, to these edges in just a little bit but right now we're gonna focus in the next uh, step that's making our template to cut our countertops ah! yeah so for that uh, we saw that the best thing we can do is make different like put together a template with different strips like stray ones and then trespass that to our countertop to our butcher block um, they say it's more accurate than measurements we're probably gonna do both because we want to do the best job possible with the countertops um, so yeah and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna cut three pieces we're gonna cut one for the dresser that will go all the way until here and then once that's done we're gonna cut it right here because that one is gonna fall down same for this one that's gonna be over here behind Aiden so this one's gonna be one until here then we're gonna cut it here so that one can fall down that way when all of them are up we're gonna have like a u-shape type of kitchen so here are our templates the future u-shape kitchen and we accounted for three fourth inch extra where we're gonna have the face for cabinets we saw Aiden. that it was recommended to do a 40 or 60 tooth blade we're doing a 40 which is a finish in plywood diablo blade right, so we put this painter tape in the board to trace all of our marks from the template that's there next step sink so we trace it with this template that our sink came with so that's pretty sweet and then we have our hole for our faucet and the soap Even though the butcher block looked beautiful with the natural color, I tested different ways to stain the wood and bring it closer to our tones. I experimented and tried pre-stain and butcher block conditioner, then water-based stain and wood effects to see which one would look better. After sanding, I end up going with this conditioner and water-based dark walnut stain. Next step is we are going to drill the butcher block into the cabinets and we're going to follow this diagram that came with our butcher block where So we're um, going to remove the countertop. Yeah, so and we're going to do the hole yeah, so, first. I mean This is how we did ours, but the washer is a number 10. You put them all? Yeah, for this part. Do you want to put the actual one? Yeah, I mean. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, I hope it holds. Pase, guy. Okay, perfect. ¿Cómo se siente? Okay, perfect. A ver. Oh. Right? Yes! Woo! A 
ver. Eso. <risa> Cocíneme. Éjale. So to make this door movable, um, we wanted to go with a style, not a pocket door, but a sliding door. Um, and like I've mentioned before, like a very DIY type of project. We went to Home Depot and we came out with these wheels and what I like about these ones is that it has a little um, indent so it kind of like sits in the door um, and then we'll drill it there and as you can see we have very limited space here but it's enough that this door fits. And we're gonna attach a little handle here or here, depending if we decide to slide the door this way or this way. We couldn't be more happy with this U-shaped kitchen idea. If you didn't know, our van is a 148 inch wheelbase. It's very small. So this amount of counter space is definitely a plus. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.